Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to make a, um, a box for a card. Now I made this card recently um, and it's, it's quite puffy, look. And if you've got those spiral flower dies and you're making cards with those, um, then they can be quite deep. And so you need a box to put the card in um, and not an envelope. Now, of course, we've got the envelope punch board, which should be called the everything punch board. Um, and it does do box type envelopes. Um, you will find a lot of measurements online. And what they tend to do is to take the, the ones that are here and make them bigger and that does work um, if you look at Frenchie stamps she's got some um, where you kind of add a, add an inch and a half and add an eighth of an inch one and an eighth inch I think it is go and look at frenchystamps.com and um, you can see that but I've decided I wanted a square box not a rectangular boxes and all the ones of Frenchies that I tried ended up being rectangular so square box so this is for a card that is five inches by five inches and I'm starting off with a piece of designer series paper and this is the retro fresh um, in the Springside catalogue isn't it pretty um, and this is 10 inches by 10 inches so we start off we're going to need to um, score um, all the way around twice and punch all the way around once so the easy way I found to do it was this so I'm going to do four and a quarter here and I'm going to score. Now I'm going to turn it, but usually with the, with, with the punch, you don't measure anymore. You're just going to line up um, this little beaky bit um, with the line. But to get a square one, what you need to do is to measure each time and it's the same measurement each time. So four and a quarter and four and a quarter and four and a quarter and you might notice that my um, uh, paper is bigger than the board so you have to stop but don't worry because when you fold you're, you've got enough fold there to get your line to go all the way if that makes sense now I'm going to do my five inch now with my five inch I am scoring and punching turn around and again I'm measuring each time five inch scoring and punching five inch punch and score doesn't matter which way around you do it five inch score and punch okay so now I've got a double scored line all the way around and the, the piece in the middle is square which was what I was going for is what I was wanting okay so what you do now is you need to take some pieces out now the easiest way for me to show you this is up here can you see that you remove those little pieces so that's all that corner squared now when I originally um, taught this to my downline um, we I, I suggested that you kept a little bit of it on one side um, when you made the box up but do you know as we started to do it we realized that you can you can do exactly the same all the way around and it'll be fine and it's easier to explain so I'm not even going to explain my original way because this way is better so you take all those pieces out and the only reason we've punched is really to show you that that's where you're taking those bits out we didn't really need to do that punch but that to me that makes more sense do you know the other thing it gives you is it gives you four really little cute photo corners wouldn't they be great on a project so you have to save those and use those next time okay so now I'm going to go around and I'm going to fold along all of those score lines. And I just love this retro fresh paper. Okay. And put our box together it's going to basically it's going to go like that um, but we want one end to be corner rounded you can do them all but I'm just doing the top piece to be corner rounded um, and 
whether you want those pieces on the outside or you want those pieces on the inside and that piece on the outside, entirely up to you, your decision. I prefer it that way round. I'll put a little bit of glue here. And this is the piece, the, the bit where I would say, take your time, don't rush, because you want these edges to be um, straight. So, and I'm going to glue here, all the way up there. Can you see that on the, on the video? And just take your time again. Get those straight, get those edges square, so that you're happy with it. And that's the wonderful thing about Tombow, because you can you can squidge it around a little bit. You see that one wasn't quite square in that corner, now it is. Happy. Okay, that looks good. And as you can see, that's going to be perfect for fitting that card inside. But we're not done yet. We need to do a little belly band to hold that closed. You could just stick it, but I do like the idea of a belly band. So that's the same piece of paper. And um, when I cut my 10 inches, I saved a piece an inch and a quarter um, by 12 inches. And we're going to have that is going to be our um, side that we're going to use. Now you'll see that it is just a little bit short. So we're just going to do a... Um, a label to go over the front and join those two pieces. So I'm just giving that a squeeze. I find that easier than trying to measure. Um, let's give it a squeeze on the on the actual edges. Um, and what I'm going to use is the um, tag a bag um, kit. Um, you get it's the accessory kit. It's actually called. So you get all these bits and pieces in there. So I'm going to use these two tags, and we're going to stamp. A little bit of Whisper White, I think I have. And we're going to stamp in the Bermuda Bay. And the image I'm using is from um, Label Something. And it's this one here that goes with the matching punch. It's the hexagon punch. And I've used a small bit, but I can get away with that. There we go. I'm just going to pop that up onto there and layer there. Now using some bits from that kit I'm going to have a little peg, it looks really rather sweet and then I'm going to take um, some of the matching of the Baker's Twine, which just does happen to match this paper. I think I did a video the other day where I mentioned that this, it just I just noticed as I was using it that it matches this Retro Fresh perfectly. So I'm using all three. Baker's Twine is such good value that you can, you can splurge a bit with Baker's Twine. I wouldn't use three pieces of ribbon, but I'll happily use three pieces of Baker's Twine. There we go. Just snip those off. Give that a little pull. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to use some um, dimensionals to hold that in place. Whoops, and what I'll do is do it on do it on here because I don't want to squish my box, which is what I was just about to do. bottom one on there, put those on and then make sure I've got this lined up in the right place, make sure we've got it straight before I press those down. Does that look good to you? It does to me. And I'll give that a press. There we go and there's our belly band. And of course, totally matching, because I use the same papers, the same uh, pack of papers on the inside. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project about how to make a square box with the envelope punch board. Have a little go yourself. I hope you enjoy that. And I look forward to seeing you again at Elizabeth's Craft Room soon. Love.